All right, so today we will be rebuilding this 2010 Lennox Merit Series air conditioner. It's going to be an interesting one as it is filthy. Let's see if I can get an angle of it. It's hard to see, but it is filthy. Here's the data. So it's it could use it. So we're going to get it. 31% are you fucking kidding me? This thing has ever been cleaned. Now it's working. All right, the unveiling. Pretty freaking bad. I'm tempted to take like a before and Have a look at this. Look Ooh, so would you look clean. at that? I don't think this thing has ever been cleaned. There's just no way. Very bad. Horford has uh, whoever cleaned it did a horrible job. Um, that couldn't have been good airflow. Holy crap. That's pretty bad. This thing was starving for air. Like, I'm sure that if all the way around it had been cleaned, it might have still been installed and working. Well, I mean, it was unless running. It was running. Cause of death. It was running. It was just running really efficiently, and the homeowner wanted the upgrade. Well, now this is definitely why. <laughs> I mean, this is a 13 here. Yeah, so it's not like it's that terrible. So, I guess we'll series, get back to tearing it apart. I, um... <laughs> see how bad the inside will be. Ah, yes. Very dirty. Very dusty. So, I guess the first place to start... That's just pretty clean, though. Which is very surprising, unless it's, it's probably not new. original. Yeah. I'm sure this thing went through a few capacitors being as dirty as it is. All right. Just toss it onto the bag. Let's, let's see how it is inside. <laughs> I got the head straps. There's the inside. Do you really? Oh my God! There is. <laughs> Can you show that on YouTube? I think so. <laughs> I mean, hunting videos, so. I imagine, so. I imagine most people don't want to see that, so I'm not going to zoom in on it too much. There's a button right there. Here's the Copeland scroll. It's a little dirty. What's that tag down there? I can't You know what? I, when it, the first thing I noticed is Lennox actually painted the base pan on this one. Um, let's see what this is. It's an original... It's the original is that for the compressor? The this is for the unit, I think. No, yeah. this is the, actually this is the compressor. Oh. This is off the compressor. That's weird. Oh yeah, it was right there. Pop this off. Do you have a second screwdriver? Maybe. Drill, I don't know. Or drill or whatever. I don't know. If so, I could probably help get this done quicker. What's that about mine now? <laughs> okay, time to get this blade off. It's not the oldest unit, so it should be relatively easy. Yeah, it's easier yeah. to have rust on the shaft. Yeah, if it does give me trouble, I'll just spray it with W40. <laughs> now, the question is. Is it going to slide off easy? Yeah. Mm. 
Well, yeah, there it is. Really small motor for a unit this size. Three tone? Yeah. They just used a smaller case. Next up, these. Now for these. I don't have a size for this, so we'll just use this. It would really suck if the, the actual nuts broke off. Yeah. That'd suck. That happened to a car. Ah, uh, yeah, that happened on these. Yeah. That happened to one of the lugs on the, my cousin's car. Or it rusts and it breaks off. It's about to collapse. Trying to avoid that happening. There's only so much you can do when there's that much rust. Now it should lift right up. Okay. Now. Final motor. Uh, yeah. Halloween comes. There you go. Busting the dust. I'm gonna keep dusting it till it's spotless. Well, that's what the water hose yeah, is for. That's what the water's for. <laughs> We're just busting this off because I mean, if you take the hose to it right now, all you're gonna do is get wet dirt. You know, get the dirt in there it's deeper. The point where I can see the coil in just about every area. Just like you're painting of painting a piece of sheet rot. Just <laughs> go back well, and forth. A fence might be a better uh, comparison there. But you need to go up and down. Down there is more yeah, like mud. A little bit stubborn. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. The hose will take care of that. There's a spot on the corner here, though. I'm standing here and I see the dust. So like, bust. look at the dust cloud. <laughs> yeah, look at all that around there. It's creating a dust cloud. The hose will do that. Uh, at the bottom, I'll put the hose yeah, it will. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll accept the dirt. <laughs> it's creating a dust cloud. Uh, it's just because I, I didn't get it out of my eye before I put them on, so. Right. Oh my god, look at the dust cloud. Uh, well, coming close was a big mistake. Look at that satisfaction. <laughs> he threw it on his phone. That should be good enough. Oh, I missed a spot right here. Missed a spot. Much cleaner. <laughs> get around the edges here. Yeah. World of a difference. I'll that over here. I, I didn't use full force on this one, so I'm gonna redo it real quick. Oh, 
Oh, that's low. Check that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really low plane. What do you think I should do about this? What, the pan? Just spray it? Just wash it off, I guess. Yeah, yeah just try to like angle it out. Like yeah. hit it towards that way and just like spray it out of the bottle. Yeah. First, I gotta kind of, it's gotta make its way over there. I'm getting every side. Crap, crap builds up underneath there. Okay, here's what we've got. It's all clean now. Cleaned up very nice. The once filthy coil is a lot cleaner. Still some stains, but you can actually see through the coil now if you look closely. If you look hard enough. So it cleaned up nice. It's, uh, the panels have all been cleaned and it's Time to start assembling it. Here we go. The motor has just been cleaned. Here's the motor. Out. So it's time to start assembling. And there it is. That's the finished product. Cleaned up nice. New conduit for the motor. There's the information. Clean up nice, and that will be it. There'll be more to come. See you guys in the next one.